It's been over three years since Splatoon 2 was released on the Nintendo Switch, and I still think it's one of the system's best games. Not only does it have great multiplayer and single player content, but it further expands upon what is quickly becoming one of Nintendo's best franchises. The Splatoon series has been a massive success for being such a new franchise. Even on the Wii U, the original Splatoon managed to sell almost 5 million copies. Inklings were also added into Smash Bros. Ultimate, further cementing Splatoon as a Nintendo mainstay. But now that there is one Splatoon game on both the Wii U and the Switch, it makes me wonder what the future of the series looks like. Will we get Splatoon 3 on the Switch anytime soon? Or are we going to have to wait for the next Nintendo console to play a new Splatoon game? There really aren't any definite answers, but I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on the future of Splatoon. There was about a two year gap between the release of the original Splatoon and the release of Splatoon 2, but I think the reason for that short time span is because Nintendo wanted a new multiplayer focused game for their upcoming console, the Nintendo Switch, and Splatoon was the best option. Two years isn't a normal amount of time between two games of the same franchise, with the exceptions of games like Madden and FIFA which come out every year. Like I mentioned in the intro, it's already been three years since Splatoon 2 came out, so any chance of a two year release pattern is already broken anyway. Splatoon is such a new series that there isn't much history to look back upon to try and see release patterns, so there's really no way to know when the next Splatoon game will release. The only pattern that I could notice was that both Splatoon games came out in early to late summer, the first Splatoon game being in May and the second in July. But even that doesn't mean much, as Nintendo constantly breaks their own patterns. But for the purpose of this video, let's assume that Splatoon 3 will release sometime in the summer. Keeping all that in mind, I have a few guesses for a possible release date for Splatoon 3. Obviously there won't be a new Splatoon game in 2020, since summer is basically over already and 2020 is supposed to be the year of Mario. So 2020 is a no, but what about 2021? Well similar to how 2020 is Mario's 35th anniversary, 2021 is Zelda's 35th anniversary. So that means we'll most likely see a heavier emphasis on Zelda during 2021. I think that probably brings down the chances of seeing Splatoon 3 in 2021, although it doesn't ruin them completely. I think a very real possibility could be a Zelda game launching in the spring, Splatoon 3 in the summer, and then more Zelda releases in the fall. But another thing to consider is that Splatoon 2 is still selling and being supported. I doubt Nintendo wants to rush out Splatoon 3 when Splatoon 2 is still doing just fine. Splatoon 2 has recently been getting new recycled Splatfests that will continue up until March of 2021. Because of all this information, I think 2021 is still a little too early for Splatoon 3 to launch. As much as I'd like to see Splatoon 3 release in the summer of 2021, I don't think it's going to happen. So now we jump to the much more likely release date, the summer of 2022. If I had to take a wild guess on the exact release date, I would say June 24th, 2022. This is the scenario I think is most likely, if we really are going to get another Splatoon game on the Switch. However, it's possible that Nintendo will stick to releasing only one Splatoon game per system, which means we would have to wait for the next Nintendo system to get Splatoon 3, and that would probably be around 2024 or 2025. As much as I hope that isn't true, it might be what happens. So my predictions for Splatoon 3's release date are either the summer of 2022 or on the next Nintendo console. Let's hope it's 2022. Now let's talk about the things that I would like to see in Splatoon 3. Let's start with the story, but first, a little bit of history. The final Splatfest for the original Splatoon on Wii U was Callie vs. Marie, and Marie ended up winning. The reason this is important is because the results of the final Splatfest actually influenced and changed the story of Splatoon 2. In the story mode of Splatoon 2, Marie is your ally and Callie is the enemy. This is a direct result of Callie losing the final Splatfest. So now we can look at the final Splatfest of Splatoon 2 and try to figure out how it will impact the story of Splatoon 3. Splatoon 2's final Splatfest was Chaos vs. Order, with Pearl representing Chaos and Marina representing Order. This final Splatfest seems to have even more importance than Callie vs. Marie did because Pearl invokes Article 4 of Splatfest Law, which means the losing side has to accept the world the winning side wants. Spoiler alert, but Chaos ended up winning this final Splatfest. Although this raises some more questions. You would think that means that the world of Splatoon will be thrown into complete chaos, and in Splatoon 3 you'll try and fix it. If it goes that way, Marina would most likely be the ally and Pearl would be the enemy. But that doesn't line up with the Callie vs. Marie Splatfest. If Splatoon 3 is going to follow the same pattern that Splatoon 2 did, then Marina would be the villain since she lost the Splatfest. Obviously we don't have any answers yet, but I think Splatoon 3 will follow the same pattern as Splatoon 2. That means that Pearl will help you in a story mode where you fight Marina. This makes the most sense to me. Since Pearl won the Splatfest, I think she should be the ally. Now comes the fun part. 
Pure speculation. Here's what I think the story of Splatoon 3 will be. After Pearl wins the Splatfest, Inkopolis is thrown into total chaos, just like she said it would. But the chaos doesn't last very long. Marina quickly comes in with an ordered army of robots and takes control of everything. Marina is now the total dictator of Inkopolis, and Pearl has to hide underground to escape capture. You play as Agent 3, the inkling from the first Splatoon game. While Agent 3 was on Marina's side during the final Splatfest, Marina has taken it too far and needs to be stopped. The entire city is blank and devoid of color, and Marina uses her robot robot army to hypnotize and control the citizens. I think it's important that the bad guys are robots so you can kill them without feeling bad, because you know, it's still a Nintendo game. I also think it would be cool if you team up with DJ Octavio and work with him to take back the city. So I think the story mode of Splatoon 3 will be working alongside Pearl, hiding from Marina's forces, and slowly taking back the city from her control and returning color to the world, as well as defeating her evil robot army and rescuing the hypnotized citizens. Remember, I'm just making all of this up, but that's what I would like to see from the story of Splatoon 3. Okay, that's enough time spent discussing the story. Let's talk about how they could improve the gameplay in Splatoon 3. I think the first major new addition should be getting your own apartment in Inkopolis. Splatoon is already a series where you buy things to customize your character, so I think the next best thing would be to customize your own apartment. This would add even more options for things to buy with your money from battles. Split screen is a feature that should have been in Splatoon 2, but now we really need it in Splatoon 3. Splatoon's gameplay would work perfectly in an offline split screen format. You could choose the map, the ink colors, and the game mode. This would make Splatoon more than just a single player experience, and could even turn it into a party game. And of course, there needs to be new weapons, specials, and game modes. I don't have many ideas for new weapons or specials, but I can think of some new game modes that would be cool. Capture the flag is one that I've always wanted to see in Splatoon, where you grab a flag from behind enemy lines and then bring it back to your base. I also think there should be some game modes that change up the team format. Every single battle in Splatoon 2 is two teams of four, but I think there should be some more variety. Four teams of two players or even a free-for-all mode would be great. I also think they need to change the number of rotating stages to four instead of two, because playing on the same two maps gets old really fast. And there really should be an option to select which game mode you want to play, instead of having to wait for it to come into rotation. I think there is a lot to add and improve to the gameplay of Splatoon 3 that would make it feel different from Splatoon 2. Well, I think that's everything. Those are my ideas and wishes for Splatoon 3. Who knows when a third Splatoon game would come out, but let's hope it's sometime soon. I think the Splatoon series is so great and has so much potential to expand and improve in future games. But what do you think? Do you think Splatoon 3 will release on the Nintendo Switch, or are we going to have to wait for the next Nintendo console? What did you think about my story ideas, and do you have any ideas of your own about Splatoon 3? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see ya in the next one.